What's up guys? Welcome back to Bath and Shower Tile Ideas episode 24. We're loading up the trailer right now. This is the bath and shower remodel from that massive shower failure from the house flip. So we converted it from a walk-in shower to a tub and tub surround. Again, they have a 14 month old baby. So let's uh, show you what we're working with. Before we do that, just wanna show you the kitchen floor here before we uh, move into the bathroom. Here we go. Okay, so here's the kitchen floor. Staggered it at a 50% offset. 12 inch by 24 inch porcelain tile rectified. Grout lines are at a 1 16th of an inch. We use a tile leveling system on this entire floor. Levtech as well as T-Lock. Floor turned out great. Extremely flat, no lippage whatsoever. Let's show you the shower here. Again, this was that house flip gone wrong. Total disaster, massive water leaking, but it looks beautiful now. So real quickly, before we talk about the build, the waterproofing, the materials, the tile, the layout, let's show you some before and after photos. Right now, a quick clip of what this looked like before. Here we go. Floated spot bonding. I don't know if you can see that, guys. I can get my whole hand in there. Look at that. Check it out. Whoa. Let me point this out, guys. See those three holes right there? Guess where they were supposed to be. <laughs> what they do? Flip it over, spot bond right over those holes. They patched this bottom area in right here, and as you can see, this big seam, look at that. No waterproofing. No waterproofing whatsoever. All right, guys, do I have a treat for you? A massive, <gasps> massive shower failure. We're gonna be remodeling this bath and shower, part of their kitchen, as well as their second shower, which is failing as well. Check this out. Never seen anything quite this bad. So yes, it was a massive shower failure prior to this walk-in shower, massive leaking into the kitchen. But here we are now. Let's quickly start with the floor here. Just like the kitchen, 12 inch by 24 inch porcelain tile. Staggered at a 50% offset, 1 16th inch grout line. Prism grout by custom for the floor. So we installed a new floor, baseboard, toilet, small little all-in-one vanity kit here. Installed a decorative light up here. Now let's talk about this shower. Tub surround, it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Real quickly about waterproofing here. We waterproof this with green board, schluter curdy membrane. Budget friendly waterproofing, 100% seal system. As you can see, this is not your marble Carrera. This is a 12 inch by 24 inch rectified porcelain tile. Real quick, I wanna point out, always do your very best to line up your veins and your movement, just like this. Of course you can't get it perfect, but as you can see, you step back a few steps in a looks like a solid surface on the back wall. But we feel we did a great job of lining up veins, as you can see here. Starts, bottom right corner, flows up, back into the niche, up to the right side, valve wall as well, flows very well, and then your back wall here. Quickly talk about the niche. This is a prefabricated Schluter niche, 12 inch by 20 inch. Proper slope on the sill here. Clean, tight, 
corners, no grout buildup. The trim used was, as usual, Schluter Ronde, mitered at all four corners. We installed a brand new tub. This is a very tall soaking tub, as you can see. So we installed a new tub, relocated the drain, obviously installed a new shower valve and trim kit. Again, a tile leveling system was used on the shower LevTech, as you can see here. Everything is extremely flat, so let me show you from the side view. So again, this is a 12 inch by 24 inch Carrera porcelain. High gloss, as you can see. This is a very easy shower to clean. Always recommended to install some sort of high gloss on the walls. Simply use a squeegee to clean the walls. We've got 100% silicone, bright white to match the grout on this side of the shower where the two planes meet. Also silicone around the tub. Silicone down here as well. And silicone at the top of the shower. As you can see, the window was trimmed out as well with Schluter Rondek. Clean miters on all four corners proper slope and pitch on the sill of the window. And that's pretty much it guys. Bath and shower. Tile ideas episode 24. The customer is very happy with their new tile tub surround. They don't have to worry about waterproof issues. They now have a tub for their 14 month old daughter. We are very pleased with how it turned out as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Again, as usual, don't forget to subscribe for more bath and shower tile ideas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.